Hey Tom's Geeky Garage, I found this Ecto 1 RC car at the flea market, but it's missing some parts. Do you think you can help me fix it? Get this out. Alright. Welcome to another episode of Tom's Geeky Garage. Today's episode comes to us from a friend of mine, Jake who bought this really cool RC Ecto-1 at a flea market and sent it to us um, to see if we could fix it and make it run. So, we're gonna do that. Uh, today on the show to help me out is gonna be my buddy Rob. He helps me with a lot of the uh, electronics and blinky things on these kind of projects. And he'll be coming over to help us with this today. Um, so let's get into it. But before we do, remember to like and share this video and go over to our Facebook page and like that to see uh, contents, uh, contest info or uh, future projects or behind the scenes, whatever. Just go over there and check that out. All right, so let's get started. Okay, right off the bat, you can see that it's missing the back wheel and it's also missing its controller. So check it online to find a controller, I found out the controller costs more than it's worth. And uh, so I've asked my friend Rob to come up with a way to get this thing to work without a controller. Rob? Hey Tom, how's it going? So what, what, have, you, uh, what have you prepared, like what have you came up with for this? Well, minus the controller, I think we should make it drive autonomously. Just control itself, we'll put a computer chip in there, It'll have sensors to look forward and avoid obstacles and just drive autonomously. How's that sound? It sounds good to me. Um, and you got the stuff to do that? Sure, it's only a few dollars in parts, an Arduino brain, a sensor to look forward. You're looking at maybe five bucks worth of parts. Not a big uh, deal. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Well, let's do that then. All right, well, you take this and then I'm gonna work on trying to get the wheel. Sounds like a plan. All right. All right, now that Rob's just gonna start working on the electrical, I'm gonna start working on making the replacement wheel. Uh, normally I'd use silicone and make a mold and then use liquid plastic to make a cast and a replica of the original wheel. But I found out that my silicone has gone bad sitting on the shelf too long. So I'm gonna have to try a different method to get my replacement wheel. The first way I tried was 3D printing. So I went over to the computer and I started modeling a wheel that matched the dimensions of the wheel we were trying to replicate. I wasn't necessarily trying to make an identical model, just close enough to pass as a back wheel. Uh, after I got a model, I took the files over to the slicer, I sliced them up, and then sent them to the 3D printer. Uh, the 3D print happened pretty quick, only took about 20 minutes. Uh, after it was printed, I painted it, and then I had an idea of a second way of possibly making this, and this one's more of an experiment than anything. All right, so when I was younger, I was super into prosthetic makeup, doing fake noses, fake noses and gashes in my throat and stuff like that. And I used to make this mix of gelatin for the prosthetics because at that time I didn't use silicones. So I would use this custom mix of gelatin, which basically um, it's not jello. I know when you hear gelatin, you think, oh, jello, and you see jello jigglers, but um, it's just pure gelatin. It's closer to like ballistic gelatin that you've seen used on uh, a lot of those uh, Discovery Channel shows where they shoot, shoot things, you know, ballistic gelatin. Um, anyhow, I thought that I might be able to use something like that to make this mold for the wheel. So I went and got the gelatin. I mixed it very, very dense. So I mixed it with a whole bunch of powder and very little water. After I mixed it, I boxed up a mold uh, using Monster Maker clay the same way I would for the silicone. Um, and then I poured in my gelatin. I put the gelatin in the refrigerator for about 35 minutes and pulled it out. It had set up to a really nice thick block of gel. Um, so what I did is I used a razor blade to cut out our original wheel. Once I got the original wheel out, I had a nice looking little mold. So now I mixed up some liquid plastic and poured it into our gelatin mold. After about 15 minutes, I was able to rip off the jello mold 
and we had a success. We had a replica wheel. Um, after painting it, um, it's not a perfect replica, but it's better than the 3D printed one for sure. All right, Rob, so I got our wheels. Excellent. I think they came out all right. They look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th this one looks obviously better than this one, but I think it's going to work as far as driving the car. Uh-huh. How's, how's, how's things coming for you? Well, I think we're ready to give it a test. What's this? Is this the... Uh, this is the sensor for it to look forward. Well, it looks like the eyeballs from Johnny Five. Uh, are these, they got cameras? Uh, they're ultrasonic. Oh. It sends out an oh, ultrasonic... Oh, they They're speakers. Oh, okay. One speaks and one listens. Neat. Okay, cool. So, uh, I guess we can get the wheel on and go test it. Alright, Rob. Well, here's the Ecto-1. Okay. Let's see if that sensor can see this wall. Okay, uh, let me get ready. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, that one worked. Where's it going? Oh, it's behind it. Oh, where's it going now? Oh, there it goes. It likes going backwards. It does backwards well. Oh, it's going to go for a while now. Where's it going? The crash! It stopped right before it. Where's it going now? Uh oh. Oh no! Alright, now me and Rob are gonna test the lighting uh, because outside it was too sunny to see it, so now we wanna show you. So I'm gonna darken the room a little bit more and then we're gonna show the lighting. So hold on one second. Oh, well, I can still see them pretty good out there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's alright. Headlights. Headlights. There's your Ecto and they, one. And then they go off? No, they well they flash sometimes. Oh, the taillights. I mean, they work. Yeah. So they, when they it's actually, backing up. So it actually works when it backs up. That's now cool. it's going forward. Headlights are on. Backing up. And away it goes. All right, that actually was that was pretty cool. Like, it works. It worked. It did. Uh, As advertised. Hope you enjoyed it. And you did it so quick. Couple of days is all it took. The, the lights are crazy. That was crazy. Thanks. Um, that is awesome. All right. Well, that is it for this Tom's Kiki Garage. Um, Want to thank Rob for coming and hanging out and uh, doing all that work. That was crazy. That was like, like it's a really cool thing. Maybe we'd like auction this thing off or something for the show or something like it. <laughs> yeah, maybe somebody want it. That was cool. Um, and uh, I also want to thank uh, Jake, obviously, for sending us this to make a show about. It's really cool of him. He's got a, a neat, uh, like a really cool horror Instagram page called, um, what was it? It was really good. It was really clever. I just feel like he was talking about it. Right. Um, uh, Camp Crystal Jake. Like, you'll see it right here. Camp Crystal Jake. Like, uh, you know, Camp Crystal Jake. It's a horror page. Whatever. Anyways, go check that out. Gave us this, it's a cool thing, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, also, we finished the um, contest for the uh, Citizen Ghost Pier. Um, I will put the winners below this video if they haven't seen it on the actual episode. So, um, that's it. Okay. All right, we're out. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Bro. Yeah, it looks like we're talking about this. I know, right? Right? Oh, that's. Should have turned it on. That's great. This is such.